Welcome to the Salt Strong Podcast, disrupting fishing entertainment as you know it. Prepare to laugh. Prepare to get to know fishing legends in a whole new and unfiltered way. And on occasion, you might even learn a thing or two about fishing. Here's your host, Joe Simons, like diamonds. Intermittent fasting. Good, bad, biblical. Hey everybody, Joe Simons, like diamonds, back again, Salt Strong Unchurched. I want to thank each and every one of you who always take time to respond to these podcasts and give feedback. The last podcast I did, I talked about really just a tough time in general of just family, business, everything just seemed like it was kind of in a slump. And uh, one of the things I mentioned was even just, you know, my, my weight that I, you know, gained, a, you know, extra 10 or so pounds. And it was just really, it's been really hard. It still is right now as I'm recording this to to get it off normally it was um, something I could just do kind of easy and I could just, you know, run a mile and a half or so every day and, and work out a little bit harder. And, and usually the pounds would shed in like what would seem like 10 days. And now it's just like not even moving. And multiple people sent me a message and commented and said, hey, you should try, you know, this intermittent fasting. And uh, like a lot of things, I uh, when I hear something more than once, I look into it and uh, one of the first things I said, all right, I, I know there's, you know, some mention of fasting in the Bible. Let's let's see what the Bible says about it. And um, you might not know this, but the the word fast or fasting, the the reference of, of fasting is mentioned over 70 different times in the Bible, which I found very interesting. And, and obviously, you've probably heard, uh, you know, there's multiple people in the Bible, Jesus, Moses. I mean, uh, you know, there, there's this mention of fasting for 40 days. We've talked about it prior on the podcast when uh, Jesus was first confronted uh, and really tempted by uh, by Satan after fasting. And Jesus fasted really for, for one main reason. It wasn't for weight loss. It was to focus on prayer and, and really just to seek God and to seek God's favor, to, to hear from God. And uh, I've had many of my brethren in uh, C12, which is the, uh, the the group I'm part of for Christian leaders, and uh, they have fasted when they've just got, you know, really, really big decisions to make. And I don't know anyone who's fasted for 40 days. I know a few that have, you know, gone even up to a month, which is uh, pretty close and, and still ate a little bit. Uh, but for the most part, we're just living on water. Um, but every one of them have said, man, I had like a revelation from uh, from God, like everything became clear. They were able just to absolutely 100% focus on this one thing. Uh, for some of them, it was family. For some, it was business. Uh, but just one kind of really big gnawing issue that they just wanted clarity from God on. And uh, I always found that really interesting. I I, I like food. I, <laughs> to me, going for even a day, let alone seven days or 20 or 30 days, I don't know, it just, it seems very, very tough. And so I, I am here in the middle of my kind of first week of intermittent fasting. And I don't know, I, I in the first couple of days, like anything that you do, it's not fun. And you're just like, how am I going to get through this? And I felt like my energy levels were lower. Uh, now I'm realizing that it's not as hard as I thought it was. I have lose, lost um, uh, quite a few pounds. So I am losing some, uh, some weight. I, I don't believe that's just the main reason to do it. I feel like, you know, an America today, most people that do fast, it's for health purposes. It's not so much to listen to God. The only exception, you know, is the Muslims who, uh, who fast during uh, Ramadan. Uh, that is, you know, a practice that I, I feel like the vast majority of Muslims participate in. But in terms of Christianity, I, I don't know that many people that fast in the big scheme of things, like percentage wise, for just for listening to God. And I was like, well, what happened? And, and part of it is, just our culture, you know, there, there has been a shift that we're just too busy and, you know, and, and, you know, too much going on to, to do it and, uh, too much vacation or whatever it is. Um, but I don't know, I just, the more and more I looked at all the different Bible verses, so I started searching for all the different verses that mention the word fast or, or fasting. And, uh, and it was interesting. I mean, it, most all of them 
re- revolved around hearing from God and becoming closer to God, seeking God, focusing, uh, clear focus, clarity. And uh, I said, well, hey, that that sounds just as good as losing weight. And so, uh, you know, to me, I am going to move forward with this and uh, and try it. I'll continue to give you updates on on how it goes. Um, I will say, you just being candid, the first couple of days I made it. So here, here's what I'm, I'm doing with this intermittent fasting. This is not like the same thing as fasting for seven days and in just drinking water. Uh, you essentially, you know, have dinner, right? And then the next morning, you know, have coffee. Uh, at least that's what I'm doing. And then nothing really for breakfast, uh, nothing really for lunch, and then eating uh, dinner. And so I'll have like maybe some almonds or just, you know, a handful of nuts for uh, for lunch or just not much, just something to kind of sustain me. But the first couple of days, you know, by the time I made it to dinner, I was like, well, gosh, I deserve to eat as much as I can. And I just chow down to the point I was so stuffed and just probably reversed everything that I had uh, I had done. And so I, I am struggling with that in terms of just moderation on uh, on that. It's the same thing that, you know, a lot of us do after like a big workout. We're like, oh, man, I just I just had the hardest work in my life. I deserve to eat this or to drink this, et cetera. So I am I'm going to have to work through uh, through some of that, but already um, enjoying it just in this uh, really first handful of days of, uh, of this intermittent fasting. And, and now I want to apply it, not just for the weight piece of it, but really to listen to God, to, uh, to get outside more. I talk about that a lot. You know, some of the, the, the biggest revelations I've had and just aha moments and, and really hearing from God have been outside, you know, hiking or sitting there, uh, down on, on, on my dock, uh, just by myself, listening and, uh, and, and praying. And uh, so I'm really, really excited to, to do that. So long story short, Jesus fasted, uh, you know, to focus on prayer and, and to seek God. His followers fasted. Uh, you know, he does say that, you know, God rewards fasting. And uh, it is a shame that, uh, you know, we as Americans and, and we as Christians don't really talk about this as, uh, as much as they did, you know, back in the days. Um, and and it, at least from the Bible, I mean, it, it pretty clear that God does grant, you know, some pretty crazy and even supernatural revelations uh, and, and even wisdom through uh, through fasting. So I'd love your thoughts on this. Um, like I said, this came about because of me mentioning just some weight loss uh, struggles I was having. And uh, this fasting came up quite a bit. So I'd love your feedback. If you fast for health benefits, for you know, hearing from God, from, from wisdom, wisdom, from seeking just, uh, you know, God's voice, God's favor. I'd love your feedback on um, anything that has worked for you. And if it has been longer fast, like a, a three day fast, I, I'm interested in, in kind of trying all of it. Uh, once again, if, especially if it has dual benefit, right. Where I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm actually helping my body and hearing from, uh, from God, uh, sign me up. Those both sound like great things. So, um, uh, let me know, Joe at saltstrong.com. I would love to hear your feedback. Um, and if you have any other um, other thoughts on uh, ways to lose weight and to hear from God, I'd also love your uh, feedback uh, there as well. That could be a future podcast. But just wanted to do this one. It's been on my mind. I've been, like I said, kind of struggling through this this first week. But now I feel like I'm, 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 I'm seeing how I can get through this. The first couple of days was like, no way. And I'm just like dying. And, uh, I think just like with anything, you build up habits, you continually get, uh, get better things, just continually get easier. Your body is pretty adaptable. Your body learns to, uh, to adjust. And, uh, and I'm really interested to, to start taking this to a level where, where I do feel like I'm just getting more clarity and, and more wisdom, uh, from God. So, Thank you guys for all the support, for all of the love, and hit me up, Joe, at saltstrong.com. Cause vision, it's in my soul, it was passed down to me from the days of old. Find us on the water, if there was a way. It's been said, my papa, he wrote the book on catching big reds and 20 pound snook. I knew all the things he knew today For he's the reason why we are this way I 
chasing in her soul. 